This year, the Apple Watch design is going to have its biggest shakeup since the first generation Apple Watch with a whole new flat glass display design for the Apple Watch Series 8. We've had a leak confirming that the new design is on its way and I want to give you all the details about this. We will also go over the Apple Watch 8 release date and price as well with specs too. Anyway, we're a good part into 2022 and a new Apple Watch is coming. So for everyone who watches my videos or even if you are new here, in these videos I'm going to give you the latest details of specific leaks and reports, then details of the planned release date and then a summary of the models that are going to be released with all their features that we've learned in previous leaks. After I'm going to reveal my wish list for the next Apple Watch but also put in the comments below what features you'd like to see in the next Apple Watch and in my next video I may feature your comment and discuss my thoughts around it. So back in 2021, the Series 7 was a very mild update over the Series 6 in design and capabilities. But for the Series 8, it looks like we'll be getting a brand new design and a lot of new features. But today, let's talk design. So if you've followed my channel for a while, then you will know that a new designed Apple Watch has been on the cards for over a year now. It was even believed at one point the Apple Watch Series 7 was going to be getting the brand new design like you're seeing in the renders in this video. Leakers like John Prozer thought it was coming and to be honest even I was convinced that last year that Apple were going to upgrade their design what they've been having for many years but it did not come. Instead we still got the same current design except for the display was made ever so slightly larger and also the glass on this is a bit more tougher. The Apple Watch Series 7 though is still a great Apple Watch but a lot of us are disappointed that we didn't get something a little bit more better. The good news is, is that we've had a brand new leak come in from Shrimp Apple Pro confirming that the Apple Watch is going to be getting a flat glass design this year. As you can see here, the Apple Watch Series 7 has more of a rounded glass design, so to have a completely flat glass design, it is most likely the full body of the watch would need to be redesigned as having a flat glass on a current design Apple Watch just wouldn't look correct. Remember, the first Apple Watch design was following something similar to the design of the iPhone that was out at that time, and that was the iPhone 6S, which had rounded edges and also had a much more rounded design than what we have right now. That design continued all the way to the iPhone 11, but like where I said now, we have more of a flat design like we have with the iPads and also with the iPhones, and it makes sense to Apple to change the design for the Apple Watch to be more like this. This also leads me on nicely to say that all reports and leaks are not 100% proof that they will come true with the new Apple Watch 8. I can only present to you what I know and been told and shown. However, if you're watching this video, then you're as curious as I am in knowing what is going to be said about the next Apple Watch anyway. So next is the release date, but just before I do that, so, just quickly guys, this channel recently got over 350,000 subscribers, what's absolutely amazing. So in celebration of this, I am doing a giveaway right now on this channel for this. It is for a MacBook Air, and this MacBook Air here is the 8-core GPU option with 512 gigabytes of storage, and I'm going to be giving this away to one lucky subscriber when we get over 400,000 subscribers. And all you need to do to enter into this into international giveaway is put down in the comments below of what Apple gear or what technology gear you're planning to buy in 2022. And when we get over that 400,000 subscribers marker, I'll be creating a video on this channel announcing who the winner is. So if you are new here, make sure to subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell right now. Now just quickly, I do want to mention there are lots of scammers, there are lots of spammers, a lot of them impersonating myself and they're telling you to WhatsApp you or to WhatsApp them or to Telegram them, ignore them completely or report them because this is not me. Like you've heard from me here, I'll be making a video when we get over 400,000 subscribers announcing any kind of giveaway on this channel and it will definitely be this time for this MacBook Air here. Well, with that out of the way guys, let's return back to the video. So, for release date. In past years, Apple has announced the Apple Watch alongside the iPhone with the two devices becoming available for purchase around a similar time. Again, this happened with the iPhone 13 and we also saw the Apple Watch being revealed at the same event. 
Well, again, we're looking towards the iPhone 14's announcement as inspiration. So based on everything going well through the end of 2021 into summer 2022, it is believed that the iPhone 14 Pro and other iPhone 14 models will be out at the end of September 2022. How is it possible to work this out, you may ask? Well, it's quite simple and it's quite logistic when you really think about it. Let's do a quick summary of how we've got to here by doing a quick summary of the last 10 years of iPhone model release dates. So if we go back to the iPhone 4S in 2011, this classic iPhone came out on October 14th that year. Then skip a year to 2012 with the iPhone 5, it was September 21st, 2012. Then let's skip a few years ahead of that to 2016 where it was the iPhone 7 and the 7 Plus and the release year for that was September 16th. In 2019 we saw the release of the iPhone 10s on September 21st and the 10R on October 26th and last year for example with the iPhone 12 models the release dates were October 23rd to November 13th. Now mainly you can see release dates have either been kind of mid-end September to kind of end October if there's something special coming out or something a bit different with the main exception of 2021 where it was a bit unusual for the iPhone 12 to come out a bit later but this was due to Covid so we did have a release on all the models. However this year in 2021 we're back on schedule with the iPhone 13 and that's being released at the end of September with all four models having a date of their release of September 24th. So based on everything that we know so far from previous years, including 2021, it is most likely the iPhone 14 and the Apple Watch Series 8 will have an announcement in mid-September and then the release will probably be a couple of weeks later afterwards. Now with those latest leaks and reports out of the way and the release date as well, let's move on to a summary of everything we know so far that previous leaks have painted a picture for for the details of the Apple Watch Series 8. So it is still very, very early days, but for the Series 8, first of all, we're expecting the actual Apple Watch to be slightly bigger now, and we're going to be getting a 41mm and a 45mm screen, and this is going to be an LTPO OLED screen. It's going to chuck out a 1000 nits brightness, and also, like I've said, we're going to be getting that brand new design that we should have got with the Series 7, but we're now going to be getting with the Series 8. For storage options, we're going to get a choice between a 32 or 64 gigabyte storage option so you can put like your Apple Music on it. We're also going to be getting that S8 chipset which is going to be a massive improvement on the S7 and S6. We're also going to be getting a U2 um, ultra wideband sensor and also we're going to be getting Bluetooth 6.0 and finally 5G connectivity for the Apple Watch. We're also going to be getting that brand new glucose monitoring sensor, what has been rumoured and talked about for ages to be put inside this Series 8. Then for the actual body, what it's going to be made out of, we're going to have aluminium, stainless steel and a titanium body style. And this is what we have right now with other Apple Watches. We're also looking likely to be getting a Touch ID on the standby button on the side of the actual Apple Watch. This is going to be very similar to the iPad Air and also the iPad Mini. And then for battery, we've been told it's going to be an all-day battery of up to 18 hours. And then also we'll be getting that USB-C charging port end to allow the actual Apple Watch Series 8 to charge faster. The starting prices for the 41mm and 32GB will start at $399 US dollars and then $449 US dollars for the 64GB model and then for the 45mm screen this will start at $429 US dollars for the 32GB option and the 64GB option at $479 US dollars. Now there are lots of different kind of variants that you could chuck into here depending like if you pick the Nike option and also if you change it to a different kind of body style the prices will change but I couldn't put every single different option on here but this is basically the bog standard starting prices for the Apple Watch Series 8. So that is a summary of the Apple Watch Series 8. However for my thoughts and wishes 
my wish is actually to put a selfie camera in the Apple Watch. Now hear me out on this one, it would just be a small 720p one. The reason is if you had a phone call on your Apple Watch or if you've ever had one before, you will know you have to kind of lift your arm up to talk into it. So for me it kind of makes sense to put a kind of a camera in it as well. Or even if you're sitting or lying down at the moment, for example with the iPhone, you still have to hold it in your hand. So why not just hold up your arm with the Apple Watch with a small camera inside it. Maybe Apple could also angle the camera in a way that it wouldn't shoot right up your nose either. But let me know your thoughts and if you agree with this or disagree with this and write in the comments below what your wishes would be for the new Apple Watch Series 8. Well guys it's also time to wrap up this video so if you have enjoyed watching it please make sure to like the video and at the same time if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews and comparisons please make sure to hit the subscribe button followed by the notification bell. Until next time guys I'll see you soon.